what is that one solution you would build with one single effort and can rent continually for thousands of people? Welcome to Tech Mastery Hub with your guy Oladeji. On today's episode, I'll be talking to you on um, subscription-based products that you can build and you will never go broke again. Let me tell you a story quickly. Many years back, I built, um, among many other products, a school software solution. And um, I was quite selling it to a number of schools without um, efforts. But a few constraints weird me out. The first was going to get the solution to one school after the other. A lot of them wanted to pitch to them one by one. A lot of them wanted to come and do trading for them one by one. After a while, we were able to put on digital training materials to make it easier in reaching more people. But even at that, it was still very tedious because it was one-on-one -on -one experience with each client. However, there are a couple of other startup schools that could not really afford what would justify the effort I was putting in. What is the point I'm trying to make here? Two things have been pointed out in that approach of producing solutions for um, organizations. The first is it wears you out because of one-on-one -on -one, you know, deployment. The second is your reach is limited because it's not everybody that can afford the level of what you are producing as you want it to be. So that leads us back to the main topic of today. A subscription-based product. What is a subscription-based product? It is that product you build with one effort that you keep repeatedly selling or renting, as I like putting it, to different organizations. In our case as technology guys, look at this from this angle. If you produced a, a phone, you will need to produce more. That is different when it comes to development or technological stuff or digital stuff. One single production, no more efforts, only supports, but you keep selling forever. That is what we are talking about, about subscription-based um, solutions. Now, what are the benefits of building a subscription-based solution? First, like I said in a little narrative I gave, your efforts are reduced, your reach are enhanced, and to, to the end user, you allow them to pay in bits because they are just dropping something to use, like paying the rent monthly, annually, or whatever. So rather than spending thousands of dollars to buy a product which many of them might not be able to afford, they can actually drop as little as $10, $20 just to subscribe to your product. And on the other hand, you are reaching much more people. Your revenue is consistent. Your residual income is consistent. You have different packages built into that same product with different scaling. Now, on this video, I'm going to take you through A to Z of all you need to make this and never go wrong, never go broke again. And if you stay to the end, I'll be listing a number of um, in-demand products that you can build a subscription based on. So how exactly do we go about building this um, subscription based on products? Let me quickly go back to the narration of a story I gave earlier. I only identified a problem. Now, how did I solve that problem? I built that same school software as a subscription based solution in what we call software as a service. At that point, it became a product that many schools could easily subscribe to. A monthly plan was there, a yearly plan was there. They subscribe for as little as $20 per month. 
now the many schools that could not afford it before were able to afford it the many schools that did not actually have the adequate infrastructure to run their own software now have my own infrastructure which is a cloud-based platform to use a software for free and many products and my problems were solved from both ends for us as the provider and for them as the users now looking at that for you to build that product sermon um, subscription based um, product the first thing you need to do you do some research the next thing you will need to do you plan what you want to develop the next thing you start building now i'm delving the talk more to the techies but even if you are not a tech guy as long as you know what you want to do you can actually hire someone to do this once and for all now back to what we're saying as the research the research part of it is you don't have much budget in this context so i will cite an example of go on linkedin let's say like me you want to build a school software in the city or community where you find yourself go on linkedin or facebook search for schools in your city now you will see a list of many schools for example open their uh, profile check if they have websites do a little finding about each of them now at the end of the day that will tell you at the end of the day that will tell you if there are many schools within your community that actually need tech solutions in likewise manner vary it from one you know, industry to the other or from one solution sampling to the other those are little ways you can do research without too much product and um, too much funds now when you research what is viable plan what you are going to build draw the structure the typical software building you know, life cycle build it test it deploy it and test it again now you know what to do in the context of the typical solution development you know, subsequent to that now once you are done with that stage the next thing now is you need to push it out to the market market it because nobody will ever discover what you have built if you don't push it to their faces so there your marketing begins but let me say this this is the best generation to ever build a business and why am i saying so you don't need too much of anything any longer the social media is there most of it are free for you to use um, um, figma is there for your designs most of it are free for you to use and so many other platforms that are free even the ais are there for you to build content and do many things all for free the ones that are not for free are for a token so you have no excuse build your product test it the competition will definitely be stiff make it the best you can make it be market it keep marketing it that's where the major work lies eventually the building phase will not always come up repeatedly the marketing will be continual now once you market it find the right niche to keep redressing it to keep adjusting things keep modifying and improving and when you realize you're stable scale up that is how to build a, 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 a subscription based solution now haven't built it haven't launched there are many tools of course that you know will be necessary to put in place where you're holding it and hosting it of course in a context of um, software as a service that we use as example the cloud service will be the most ideal um the development tools to use to develop and uh, to build it all lies in within you, what exactly you are building and what your capacity entails so that will might, we might be able to address in some other videos if need be if you want us to delve into the tech and the core areas of building drop that in the comment section and um, we'll deal with it but for the insights that we're looking at today now that is the much you need to know about what to build now exactly what are you building i will give you examples 
of always in demand solutions irrespective of where you are the health sector the education sector the e-commerce industry these are things that consistently are in demand for you to cap to take advantage of and fourthly um, what do you call it digital marketing so in the comment section i will also list more but these four are evergreen and always in demand products that you can build so take advantage of it that is it guys if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like to subscribe and to share with your friends and as we usually do every week we we'll drop contents for you here to learn something more take care